Blessed day to everyone. Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is word problems involving linear inequalities in one variable. First problem. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. Click, click the red subscribe and also the bell button so we can continue uploading many math concepts and lessons. Number one, problem. Thrice a certain number increased by seven is at least 46. What are the numbers? So we have here thrice means three times a certain number. So we let x be the certain number. There, we let x be the certain number. So thrice a certain number is 3x increased, so plus, by 7 is at least 46. At least or greater than or equal to 46. What are the numbers? So very simple. Transpose 7 to the other side. So we have 3x is greater than or equal to 46 minus 7. This, transpose it there. So 3x is, what is 46 minus 7? It's 39. Then divide both sides by 3. Cancel this. x is greater than or equal to 39 divided by 3 is 13. So what are the numbers? The numbers are numbers 13 and above, or greater than or equal to 13. Or you can interpret it as 13 onwards. There. Now, if you have at least, you use greater than equal, but if the problem is, is, is let us say, at most, let's say this is changed to at most 46, then you use less than or equal. Problem number two, Mario is 40 years old. And his cousin John is 18 years old. So we have here Mario. Mario's age is now is 40 years old. And John, so John's age is 18 years old. There. In how many years will twice John's age be greater than Mario's age? So in X years, let us write here. In X years, Mario will be 40 plus X and John will be 18 plus X. Did you get that? Yes? Okay, so let's come up with an equation. In how many years will twice John's age, so that will be twice or two times John's age in X years, this, two times 18 plus X, be greater than Mario's age, will be greater than Mario's age, so Mario in X years is 40 plus X. So let's solve this. Distribute 2, 2 times 18, that is 36, plus 2 times X is 2X, is greater than 40 plus X. Combine all those with X's on one side, so we have here 2X here, transpose x minus x is greater than 40 transpose 36 it becomes negative 36 so x is greater than 40 minus 36 is 4 there yeah. so to answer the question in how many years will twice just each be greater than Mario's age the answer is in greater than or in more than 4 years Let's move on to problem number three. Problem number three. Rectangle OPI, OFIE is 6 cm centimeters long and 4 centimeters wide. Equal quantities are to be added to each side so that the perimeter becomes greater than 100. What possible values must be added? I'll draw rectangle OFI, 
E first. Let us say this is rectangle O F I B. Yeah. That's rectangle O F I B. Is 6 cm long and 4 cm wide. Let's say this is 4, 4, 6, 6. There. Equal quantities are to be added to each side. We let x be the quantity, okay, quantity added. So in other words, 6 becomes 6 plus x. So this one will become there. No? Oh, you add equal quantities. This is x, this is x. Then you also add equal quantities here and here. There. So this will be x, this will also be x, this will be x, there, that will be x, this will be x, and this will be x, there. So this whole thing, this new side now becomes 6 plus 2x, isn't it? Equal quantities are to be added to each side. So you add an x here. From the original 6, you added an x here and another x there. So the whole thing, the new length is now 6 plus 2x. x plus x is 2x. Now, on this side, you have the original 4. You added x and another x. So this whole thing becomes... 4 plus 2x. There. Now, once you add an equal quantity x to each side, so to the right and to the left side, up and down side, the perimeter becomes greater than 100. So the new perimeter, perimeter, is greater than 100. Well, how do we get the perimeter? The perimeter is always 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Remember, perimeter is just a measurement around. It must be greater than 100. The new length, the new length is now 6 plus 2x plus the new width is 4 plus 2x and this perimeter will give us greater than 100. So, we now simplify 2 times 6 is 12 plus 2 times 2x is 4x plus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2 times 2x is 4x is greater than 100. Combine all x's, 4x plus 4x is 8x. Combine all the constants, 12 plus 8 is 20, greater than 100. There. Yes, all then. What can you do to this? You transpose this to the other side. So 8x is greater than 100 minus 20, which is? 80. Oh, now, how do we isolate x? Multiply by 1 over 8 or divide by 8 to both sides. We're dividing a positive number so you retain the inequality. Cancel this. So x is now greater than 80 divided by 8 is 10. That would mean you have to, so we have to add, we have to add greater than 10 cm to each side, to each side. So, when the question is what are the possible values, so you'll be adding 10.1, 10.2, etc., 11, 12, and so on and so forth. Cm, no? Cm to each side of the original rectangle, O-F-I-E. There. I hope I was of help to you. Always remember to 
add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Smash the subscribe button and the bell button. Thank you.